Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Bless the name of the Lord forevermore. It is always the hour for revival. And I'm so glad each and every minister, each and every lay person can tune in today in Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. Even the lay has been set aside to preach. Amen. Glory to God. Even the lay are ministers. I'm telling you something, my friends. You ain't got to have a degree to your name and more letters and alphabet soup to preach the gospel. He said to those that are born again and those that believe his word, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Ah, oh, it's saying slow connection. Hold on. All right, now, I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. It's messing with his air. This air in Jesus' name. It's saying I'm adding you, sister. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sister White, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Yeah, if you try to fight us, it ain't going to win. No way, no how. Amen. Thank you. Your Lord Jesus, Lord. defeated foe, <laughs> already no, 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 defeated foe. Yep, defeated foe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. So I'm excited about tonight's sermon. Me too. You know, about the seven attributes of God, the mysteries of the seven spirits of God. This is going to be, as you would say, lit. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I don't know what the Lord's going to do tomorrow night, but I've got a special guest coming on tomorrow night. Somebody that you've actually loved their testimony that they gave on here. They're going to be live with me tomorrow night. Hallelujah. I don't know what time. Fantastic. But, amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is on the move. I'm telling you what. Thank you. Yes, Jesus. he is. And I think he's moving his people around as well because mm. that shaking has many meanings, you know, when we talk yes, about does. that. Yes, Learning today does. that, you know, they're, they're, that we have to make a decision on this house situation now. Um, oh yeah, but I'm trusting the Lord in His promise that we will be the lenders and not the borrowers. So Amen. God's got a plan. So if He allows things to happen to us in our lives, He's already mm, got on. a plan. So we Thank just give Him glory for that. And Amen. just you like know what song. is interesting? I mean, I, I see these people out there in the world that are um, Satanists and stuff like that but i noticed something about their god their god is powerless yes our god is all powerful mm -hmm. all knowing all everything thank you jesus praise god satan wanted to tempt Job. that i bet i could make him sin against you he'll curse you to your face and die god said i'll take that bet i know he won't because i know his heart wow satan looked at his flesh and God looked at his heart. Yes. Satan couldn't tell what was in Job's heart, for real. Mm -hmm. You know, Satan had an idea of what he might do because he's flesh and blood. Right. But he said, I, I, I know what I think I can make him do. But God said, okay. Do it. We'll see. He said, mm -hmm. I know. He said, I know his heart. I know he won't curse me. Yep. And the only thing Job did curse was the day he was born. Yes, I wish I had never been conceived in my mother's belly. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The reason Satan attacked him is because Job had influence. It wasn't the money, it wasn't anything other than influence. That's what Satan could not stand. Yep. Amen. Because he brought the Bible says that truth. the rich people would sit at the gate and shut their mouths and listen to him, and he would tell them about God. Yes. Hey, Brother Dobie, 
he said we got a little echo going on. I've already adjusted the camera the best I could, though. I don't know why it's still echoing. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go ahead and sing, and then I'm going to get into the word. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. So we're going to sing the heart of worship tonight. And as yeah. you think about this song, just think about being in the presence of the one true God and just oh, being wrapped in his arms God. and just feeling his presence tonight. And as you hear this word, may it just bring forth all kinds of, may he open your eyes to yeah. see in the spirit and your ears to hear in the spirit and really bring you into his presence and really speak to your heart and that's what i was thinking when ricky when when um henry gave me this song was that's what brought me really? into my heart was that feeling that that's what we want we want to be mm. in the heart of the word we want to be in the heart of the one we worship so yes Bless my voice, Lord, to do that for you. When the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come, longing just to bring something that's of worth, that will bring Bless your heart. Yes, I'll bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you have required. Yes. Oh, you search much deeper within. Through the things, Amazing. through the way things appear, you're looking Amazing. into Amazing. our hearts. Yes, you are, Jesus. We're oh, coming oh, back Jesus. to the heart of worship, and it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. We're sorry, Lord, for the thing we've made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. Come on. King of endless words. No one could express how much you deserve. Though I'm weak and poor, all I have is yours. Every single breath. Lord. When God. it's all about you, oh, it's all about you, Jesus. We're sorry, Lord, for the thing we've made it. When it's all about you, when it's all about you, Jesus, we're coming back to that heart of worship because it's all about you it's all about you we'll bring you more than a song we'll bring you more than a song we'll bring you more than a song Yes, God. 
centered on you yes. because Please. it's all about you jesus we're sorry for the thing we've made it when it's all about you it's not a show for others it's not to increase the coffers lord it's because mm. our heart desires to worship and praise yes. your holy name Brought it's because Lord you are god eternal you are the one who holds our lives and it's all about yes. you Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister, thank you for singing tonight. I just felt the glory of God as you were singing. The peace of God came over me, and the fire of God came over me as well. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I know I'm standing um, behind a firewall here, literally, it's a wall of fire. But I have felt the fire of God tonight. Glory to God. Thank his you, presence Father. is here. Thank and I mean, you. if we are going to claim to be his children, we need to have his character. And that's what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Amen. Getting Beautiful back message. to the heart of true worship. Amen. Thank you for yes. singing tonight. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love Amen. you all. <laughs> yes, we love you too. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, Lord, I just thank you for your glory tonight, for the sister in Christ, Sister White, that sang tonight. Father, I just thank you for re retouching her in a new way, Father, because she was willing to obey you in the midst of a need. Lord, meet the need above and beyond for your glory in jesus name and for ricky god in jesus name amen and father lord i pray tonight that as this word goes forth it's already anointed your word is anointed but father i pray that you would anoint me and anoint the people to hear the word and not just hear the word but do the word that they do let them live it out in Jesus' name. And Father, we cast our bread upon the waters tonight. Let it come back as pure gold. In Jesus' name. Amen. Gold as refined by fire. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. Travis, thank you for your prayers for me, brother. I love you. God bless you. Amen. Is everybody still tuned in? Brother Doby, God bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. See, I got your name right. It took me about two years, but I finally got your name right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter, verse 6. And actually, let's go to verse 5 first. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the tribe of praise, and I beheld, and it said, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the tribe of praise, the root of David hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
glory. Amen. And verse 6, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns, and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 7, And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. I'm just going to read the verse 8 here. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, and having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. I'm going to go to verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open it and the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to... Wait, was slain and has has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us, verse 10, unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. So I want to talk about these seven spirits of God, and I want to show you how all seven spirits tie into one spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. But these seven spirits are seven attributes of God. There are seven ways that God presents himself to the body. And Jesus fulfilled all seven of them before he ever went to the cross, he carried the fullness, the fullness of the Spirit of God. Some people have never really understood the fullness of the Spirit of God, but after today, I hope you'll understand. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. When addressing the seven churches four times, Jesus, through John, makes, revel makes revelation and reference to the seven spirits of God. Revelation 1 and 5, or 1, 4, 4 through 5, actually. Revelation 1, 4 through 5, Revelation 3 and 1, Revelation 4 and five, God, God through John to the seven churches makes reference to the seven attributes of God. And he calls them the spirits of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. And of course, the opening scripture we just read. So four times God made makes reference of the seven spirits of God. I'm going to read them all together one more time. Revelation 1, 4 through 5, Revelation 3, 1, Revelation 4, 5, and Revelation 5 and 6. It mentions four times right there in the first four books of Revelation. Actually, the first five books of Revelation. First five books of Revelation. God makes mention of reference to the seven spirits of God. Four times in the first five books of Revelation, God makes reference to the seven spirits of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Which also would explain when he says the seven eyes, having seven eyes that, hallelujah, he said he has seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God let me tell you something what happens what is it with the Lord and the seven because seven is completion 
Seven is perfect. There's nothing missing. There's nothing lacking with seven. But look at this. Verse six again. Let's go back. Revelation five and six. And it said that the which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all of the earth, which gives the answer to second Chronicles 16 and 9. First Chronicles 16 and 9 says, sorry, Second Chronicles 16 and 9 says that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth looking for someone whose heart is right toward him. So he said the eyes of the Lord, which represent the seven spirits of God, are going throughout the whole world. God is constantly scanning the world, looking for somebody to use. He's looking for somebody that says, here I am, Lord, send me. But let me tell you something. Before he sends you out, he's going to make sure you have his attributes in your life. Amen. Glory to God. We need to strive to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Like, like I said, of course, the opening scripture we just read is a part of the seven spirits of God. He makes reference to the seven spirits of God. Now, either we have been taught wrong all these years and believed wrong about one spirit or there is only one spirit but we've been uh, people have avoided this message because they didn't understand it but because of the holy ghost tonight i'm going to show you what he's talking about with the seven spirits of god amen the seven churches, the seven candlesticks, it all ties in to the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Let me say this. God is one. Hero Israel, the Lord our God, is one God. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. He is one God, one spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But he, but we still see a trinity in that scripture. Go with me now to Deuteronomy 6 and 4. I'm going to blow your mind right here, my friends. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is a good teaching. Holy Ghost, thank you, Father, for teaching it through me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Somebody write Deuteronomy 6 4 down, will you? Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you the, the Trinity, people who's against Trinity teaching and all this other stuff. I'm going to show you something right here, buddy. Deuteronomy chapter. 6, verse 4. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. He is one God. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thine soul, and with all thy might. Amen. Glory to God. That's a trinity. With all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But remember, he said, it ain't by your trinity, it's by my trinity. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, not by might, your might, nor by your power. But by my spirit, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Not by our help, 
but by his help, he's going to get it done. Hallelujah. We're going to get it done with him. Hallelujah. With God on our side, nothing is impossible. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody needs to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I feel the Holy Ghost on me tonight. Amen. Glory to God. But see, we still have a trinity there, but he is one God. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sister White said that's also the scripture he used to defeat the devil. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. But like I said, we still see a trinity within that scripture. How? By one body, mind, soul, and spirit, or spirit, soul, and body, there is a trinity. Listen, just like John spoke about, 1 John 5, 7, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, Jesus, and the Spirit. And these three are one. Then he talks about the spirit on earth, the water, and the blood. And these three are one. There is a trinity of trinities within the scripture. Every time you see anything done with the Father and the Son, the spirit is working with them. The Bible said that the heavens opened up and the Father spoke from heaven. And the Spirit came down. Or the heavens opened, the Spirit came down, and the Father spoke. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Where did the Spirit come down to? He came upon the Son. What happened next? The Father spoke, and he said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Wait a minute. Up until the point this happened, Jesus had not yet cast out one devil, had not healed one sick person, had not raised one person from the dead. He was not being identified for his accomplishments. He was being identified for his essence. He was being identified because he was the Son of God and is. Amen. Glory to God. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus spoke about this too. John 4, 24. He said, the Father is a spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, you need to understand something. You can't worship in spirit and in truth until you have the spirit of truth. My Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. John 4, 24. The Father is a spirit, and the Father seeketh such to worship him in spirit and in truth. Let me show you something. Interesting. The Lamb, the Son. Hold on, wait a minute. I got to get my book up here a little bit closer to my eyes because I need my glasses, but I still hadn't picked them up yet. <laughs> hadn't picked them up yet. I still need to go get them, y'all. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me show you this. Something interesting. The Lamb, the Son, represents the Father, and the Father operates through the Son by the Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that the Father does, the Son does. Everything the Son does, the Spirit does. They work in unity together. See, 
I like how it was said a long time ago. The father had an idea. He shared it with the son. The son loved it because the son loves whatever the father loves. And the spirit performed it. He, he made it manifest in the earth. Hallelujah, Jesus. They were in perfect unity. They were one. Ephesians 4, 4 through 6. Ephesians 4, 4 through 6. Let's go there now. I don't usually do this, but I'm, I'm going to tonight. I'm going to read what I'm trying to let you hear today. So it, it really is a Bible study tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Wednesday night Bible study. Well, I hope somebody is getting blessed anyways. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Ephesians 4, 4 through 6. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I could find it without this page keep jumping around on me. Bless you, Jesus. Here we go. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ephesians. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Ephesians 4, excuse me, 4 through 6. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Actually, let's go to verse 3 at first. In devouring to keep the unity, in so much to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, endeavoring, you know, like working really hard. To keep the, the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, even as you are called in one hope of one calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and faith, uh, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory, Lord. Amen. Somebody say that's good teaching. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But see, he's in all, working. He, he's above all. He's in all, and he's working through all. Heaven and earth are working together. That's what first. John 5, 7 through 8 is all about. Heaven and earth are in constant working order together. There is order within the church and within the Father in heaven. He's doing a work in the earth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. How do I know that? The Bible said the Lord went everywhere. They went everywhere preaching the Lord working through them with signs follow, confirming the word with signs following. Are you hearing what I'm preaching tonight? Amen. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here, up in here. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Though he is one spirit, he presents himself in seven in ways completion again perfection and completion again there is a trinity in christ revelation 1 4 there is a trinity if you got a problem with that you shut me off now that i've read the bible to you so now you're without excuse you heard it <laughs> hallelujah thank you jesus praise god amen thank you jesus amen in a vision, the Father explained the Holy Spirit being the middle of everything, the center of it all, center of it all. If y'all didn't understand my thick accent, the center of it all. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. The 
Holy Ghost being the center of it all. Zechariah 4 and 2, God shows Zechariah a vision of a menorah. There is seven spokes to the menorah. There are seven sticks to the menorah. There is seven spirits of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. There's seven ways God references himself to his people. Amen. Now let's go and talk about that. Isaiah 11 and 2 describes the seven attributes of God's spirit. Amen. His seven distinct characteristics that define his heavenly nature amen on the earth glory to god thank you jesus amen isaiah 11 and 2 the first first one is the spirit of the lord the holy spirit the center of the menorah pentecost that's right, Sister White. It's Pentecost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. The, the spirit of understanding, that's three. The spirit of counseling, that's four. The spirit Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Number two is supposed to be understanding uh, verse five. I mean, number five is power. So let me redo that. I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, I ain't got my glasses here with me today. So the first one is the spirit of the Lord. Second one is wisdom. The third is the spirit of understanding. The fourth is the spirit of counseling. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The fifth one is power. The spirit of power. And six is the spirit of knowledge. Seven is the fear of the Lord. What does it mean to have the fear of the Lord? God has not given us a spirit of fear. But what does it mean to have the fear of the Lord? The spirit of the fear of the Lord. The spirit of the fear of the Lord is the wisdom of the Lord to reference him and to know his goodness and to know his glory and to walk in the ways of the Lord. Because before I ever started reading this, I heard other ministers saying, Thus saith the spirit of grace, thus saith the spirit of truth, thus saith the spirit of peace. Like, where did this come from? These are his attributes. These are his characteristics of himself. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say that's good teaching. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible said if any man lack understanding, let him ask of God. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that he may give it to him. These attributes we must have if we're going to walk in the Spirit and still not. But let me tell you something. How do you overcome the devil? By the word of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of your testimony. Yes. And the Bible said, Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. But let me tell you something, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I love you so much. We need to begin to live like the Spirit of the Lord. We need to begin to allow Him to live through us. Let me explain something to you, my friends. Paul said it like this, it's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. Paul is dead, but the Spirit of God that was in Paul, lived on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Now, people say, oh, well, you can't think like God. Oh, God's thoughts are more than your thoughts. They they use that old scripture in Isaiah. 
His thoughts are more than your thoughts. His ways are higher than your ways. And so is his thoughts, your thoughts. But wait a minute. If you look at this, Jesus, God in flesh, the Son of God, you know, Isaiah said that God said, I'll share my glory with no man. But the Father said the, the son said all that the father has given me i give to you my glory that the father has given to me i give that glory to your life i i bless you with my presence and my attributes amen glory to god my characteristics are within you amen that's why they called them christians in antioch Bible says they were first called Christians in Antioch. Why? Because they were living just like Jesus Christ. They were imitating Jesus. Now let me tell you something. Emulating, imitate, whatever it was. I mean, you know, they they were copying. That's the word I'm looking for. They were copying Jesus, doing exactly what they saw the master do. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I just want to shoot something your way and get you blessed right here. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You see, the the enemy tries to copycat Christ. He tries to imitate and then humiliate the gospel. He tries to wear out the saints. But here's something very interesting. Do you know you can determine through this whole whole message right here, the seven spirits of God, the seven attributes of God, the seven ways God presents himself in one spirit will show you the identity of God versus the identity of Satan. Because right here, Revelation 13 and 11, you've got the Antichrist who's copying Jesus Christ. And he looks like a lamb, but he speaks as a dragon. The, the Antichrist does. He looks like, like him because of the power and the, you know, because of the power on his life at that time. He looks like Jesus to the world. And the Bible said if Jesus had not shortened the time of the Antichrist, he said, even if it were, he said, if it were possible, the elect would even be deceived. Those that are blood bought, spirit filled, the enemy is going to be that clever and that deceiving. He's been working at this for millennia, almost, almost a millennium. He's been working on how he's going to deceive the nations of the world but the bible said once their eyes are open for many it's going to be too late but for those that will repent and not take the mark of the beast and will go into seclusion and hiding and for those that have died for the gospel they're going to stand up on the day of judgment and say is this the one who made the nations tremble and they're going to laugh at him god's going to put the devil to an open shame and the world is going to laugh at Satan but, but see it said that he looked like a lamb that Satan looked like a lamb but spoke as a dragon one thing that lamb is missing that our lamb has is seven eyes the seven spirits he has none of the attributes of God. All he can do is do signs and wonders in the earth. He cannot fault signs and wonders, but all he can do is imitate. He, he can do a copycat, a counterfeit Christianity. And that's what's in the church right now. A lot of churches, I'm going to say this, probably get some hate mail on it, but I love you anyways. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The elders said, you have made us kings and priests 
unto our God. Big G, not little. You made us kings and priests unto our God. I was told the other day by a pastor that we are not the priests of God. I just disproved that through the scripture. We are priests under God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Christ is our high priest. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We must have the spirit of the living God. John 3, 1 through 21. He said, if you are born again, John 3, 1 through 21, that if you are born again and filled with his spirit, then you're going to begin to manifest his spirit. What's in you will come out of you. It will show up in your life. What is in your heart? What is in your life? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. As a man believeth in his heart, so is he. There's so many scriptures I could give you. But what I'm here to tell you tonight is, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you haven't been living like Jesus would live, shacking up with somebody, that's outside of the will of God. Cursing, lying, committing fornication, whatever you're doing. Let me tell you something. The true Holy Ghost will keep you happy with your wife and make you leave your neighbor's wife alone. But if, if you were a counterfeit Christian, an undercover agent of hell, you're going to run around doing things and think you going to heaven. You you deceived, friend. God said that we must be holy, for he is holy. We must strive for perfection. Nobody's perfect. Let me make sure you understand I'm telling you I'm not perfect. But I'm telling you I'm forgiven. Hallelujah, your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you're tired of playing with both sides of the fence, if you're tired of being a Christian one minute and then a flat-out sinner the next, and you, and you really want to make a shot of being free, if you really want to be free, right now is your shot. This is your chance by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of holiness. I, I want you to pray with me right now. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I be believe that you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me, cleanse me, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, and amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. That's right, amen. Thank you, Jesus, amen. We are a peculiar royal priesthood under our God, unto our God. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, amen. Glory, hallelujah. But I mean, even Jesus was telling Nicodemus, he said, you must be born again. You must have a genuine experience with me. It's not about a religion. It's about a relationship with God. See, Buddha and all them others, they all believed that Jesus was a good teacher, a good man, but they didn't know him to be God. Buddha said, I'm not the way. Confucius said, seek truth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All the other ones, I can't remember how that goes. I, I think he said, 
Mohammed said, uh, seek life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, y'all have seen that post. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Jackie, God bless you. Travis, Doby, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. I I see there's somebody named Sheila on here, but I can't see her. Well, God bless you, Sister Sheila. Thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, write to me, Revival at yahoo.com. Revival at yahoo.com. I feel the presence of God right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just thank you for healing the body of those that are sick in the mighty, precious name of Jesus from the crowning of their head to the soles of their feet. I thank you, Lord, for delivering those that are bound and that they're going to go free in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Right now, in Jesus' name, Rabashanda Rebase, Larabasanda Rabosande, Sharadarabasanda. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister, White said the whole screen just lit up. I'm going to go back and watch that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Robo Corenda Basha. Somebody is getting healed in their bowels. Right now, there's been an issue within the tissues of your bowels. God is healing your bowels in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Corabashinda Mahasanda. Lord, I thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire tonight. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you for showing up and showing out, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for healing everybody that's been sick, delivering everybody that's been bound, and filling them with the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Like, share, subscribe, and that bell notification for more videos just like this on YouTube. I love you. God bless you. Father, let us live in the way of your spirit. Hallelujah. Teach us how to live by your spirit that we might make heaven our home. That's the prayer of my heart. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love y'all. God bless you. Bye-bye.